Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness, and in today's video, we are building a really pretty town square. It is right in front of resident services, and it's a pretty simple and quick build, so I really hope you all enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join our family because we would love to have you. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, and let's get right into it. So a majority of this build is going to be a lot of layout and foundation. So right at the start, I'm forming a little pond in the middle because I knew that I wanted water to be sort of the centerpiece and the focal point of this town square. And I think it's really funny that I'm saying square because it's more like a rectangle. And if my memory serves me correctly, I know that a square or a rectangle being, can be a square, but a square cannot be a rectangle. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I was just thinking about that the entire time because I was like, hmm, should I call it a town square or a town plaza? But I am going to go with a town square. It is right by resident services, and I see it as sort of actually an extension of resident services. During this entire time, Dizzy was literally doing zoomies all around me and just sitting right in front of the water i thought it was so precious but right now i'm just sort of laying out the foundation and figuring out what i really want to do there's a lot of trial and error here so i tried to speed things up a little bit i didn't want to cut it out because i think it's really natural to make mistakes and i'm never really good at planning dimensions it's a uh, sort of figure out as you go type of ordeal for me so anyway uh kick back and relax and watch as i struggle a teensy bit trying to get the measurements correct but um i definitely really love the end result of this area so i really hope you all do too I end up expanding the entire town square by one grid space on the, the perimeter because I wanted to add flowers and fencing, hence the dirt path. So I completely forgot about that originally and then when I remembered, I ended up just expanding it to account for those spaces as well. I'm actually going over the places that I am going to put the dirt path. I just wanted to kind of like see the measurements and the dimensions of everything but here I am just placing it and I will be adding the dirt path afterwards. As for the fencing, I used a combination of the hedge fencing and the iron and stone fence. I think that this provides a little bit of break from the grayness in the area while introducing some greenery too. And I absolutely love the way that this looks because I think that it looks a little bit more realistic because I see a lot of places in real life like parks and everything like that, they have a lot of hedges on the fencing or they'll just have like back to back and if i were to do like back to back it would have been a little too bulky because the hedge fencing actually takes up a lot of space um at least visually it does so i just decided to do a little pattern of it instead and i think it looks pretty cute
So this part was a lot of trial and error. Originally, I had planned to plant a hardwood tree in the middle and then have cosmos or tulips surrounding it. However, as you all can see, it didn't really work out in my favor because it was in odd number of spaces so i wasn't able to get something in the middle or it was an even number of spaces actually um so that was very unfortunate but it was okay i was a little frustrated so i ended up leaving that little sapling there to just chill while i go and finish the rest of the area and then i come back to it later i ended up completely doing something very different than what i originally thought was it was gonna turn out but i actually pretty much i'm pretty satisfied with it um you guys will see later in the, the build but here i am just planting some flowers and well right now i'm putting the street lamps down and then i will just go ahead and plant the flowers after For this area, I went with some tulips and some cosmos. I love the cosmos, they remind me of daisies and I think the tulips are just really pretty as well. And I wanted this to be sort of very simple and that's why I went with white flowers instead of colorful flowers. But come Christmas or even like when I make this into a more fall type of build, definitely you can swap out flowers. I can see this being one of those very versatile areas that you can change up depending on the season. In the middle, I mean, I can totally just put like a pumpkin carriage and it would automatically fit the fall aesthetic. So I really like builds that are um, very versatile so you can like change them with the season. I originally put this custom code down under the street lamps because I thought it would look really cute as it usually does but it looked kind of weird in my opinion on the stone path so I actually ended up removing it at the end. Now I'm just going in with the details and dreading revisiting the middle part of this build. I do think that I eventually make it work though with a little bit of luck and a little bit of trial and error. So let me know what you guys think specifically about this part because honestly, this was a happy accident. I was pretty happy with how it turned out and it wasn't planned at all, so let me know what your opinion is or just say hi in the comments. This is a side note, but this is coming up. I think green leaf piles are super cute and 
they are such a nice detail to add to areas if you don't really know what to put i think it still fills up the space and it's like super cute when you run across it and the leaves just kind of like float so i really like using them as decoration and right now i'm just customizing the stacked magazines as newspaper because i'm going to put a cute little newspaper stand in the town square which i I didn't have on Lotus, but I'm really in love with it. I think it looks absolutely adorable. So here I am going into Nook's Cranny because I know that I wanted to add an umbrella by the bench but they didn't really have a cute umbrella so that was really upsetting. However, there was a prettier variation of the book so I purchased that instead and swapped it out with the one I placed before and I end up adding the lacy parasol after this because I had to order it from my catalog. But now I'm just finishing up the space by adding some hardwood trees just to make it a little bit more welcoming as you walk in through the side entrances. and we're done thank you so much for spending some time with me today and for taking time out of your day to watch my video it really means the world to me i don't think i can ever truly explain how it makes me feel when i see your comments and i just see the sweet words you guys say here's a video of doc to bless your day he's just chilling by the water being precious and cute anyway thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being you i will see you in my next video have a lovely day